Welcome to our hands-on tour of the single cell analysis journey. From cloud to loop to community developed tools. My name is Mike and I'm super excited to introduce this video workshop series and welcome you to the 10X Genomics Data Analysis Community. The primary goal of this video series is to demystify the data analysis process with a hands-on active learning approach. Our target audience are those who have or soon will soon have uh, 10x data and have limited or no bioinformatics experience. We have a number of secondary goals, but to make a long story short, our secondary goals are all geared towards helping you move forward in analysis. As a preview, I want to explain how we view the analysis journey at 10x. We believe analysis starts with design and is strongly influenced by the laboratory workflow. The computational work starts with raw data processing, followed by quality assessment and control, and culminates in visualization and interpretation. Notice that there is a progression in the journey, but it's not linear. <clears throat> it's also meaningful that we chose to represent the journey as an attraction map with different analysis types as attractions. Not every experiment benefits from every possible analysis, nor is every analysis appropriate for every experiment. Now for the agenda. The first four videos in this series are focused on raw data processing and quality assessment. Here we'll run our Cell Ranger pipeline on the 10x Genomics Cloud Analysis platform and use the web summary output from the pipeline to assess the quality of our run. The last three videos focus on downstream analysis and visualization. We'll cover some of the wonderful, powerful features of our Loop browser, followed by a foray into a community-developed tool to showcase some of the great things the 10x data analysis community is doing with our products. And finally, we'll wrap up with some guidance on planning your individual analysis journey. For the remainder of this video, I'm going to talk about experimental design and the way we and how the way we design experiments determines how the data should be analyzed. I'm going to introduce a neutrophil data set since we'll, be, uh, since we'll be using it for the remainder of the workshop. We'll start with digging a bit more into what we mean by analysis begins with design. I'll talk about the data we're using in the workshop series. Importantly, I'm going to discuss the purpose of the experiment, anticipated challenges, and then present our analysis plan based on our experimental goals. So the design of the experiment is what enables the analysis. Your research question is going to inform what samples, conditions, and data you're going to need. Getting this right is critical for success. Our strong encouragement is to involve everyone who is going to touch samples or data in the planning process. This planning call is the cheapest part of the experiment and can save a lot of time and money down the road. For this workshop, we're using the data from this technical note. It's a PBMC data set with a focus on neutrophils. The purpose of the experiment was to show neutrophils are detected by the 10x3' single cell gene expression assay and show that the biology is preserved. To ensure that we meet these goals, it is important to understand a bit more about neutrophils. This figure shows the fates of hematopoietic stem cells. At the bottom right, we can see a bracket that shows what we are capturing in our sample. Neutrophils are hard to capture on their own. This is something to be aware of in our analysis. In addition to neutrophils, we're going to need to deal with a number of other cell types. The second point in this slide, that neutrophils have lower RNA content and express fewer genes, is also important. It will become clear why as we go forward and you learn more about the raw data processing pipeline. Neutrophils uh, also have elevated levels of intron retention. That's also going to affect our analysis approach. So here's our plan across the top. We have the issues that we have uh, that we're facing in this experiment uh, that we talked about in the last slide. Below the issues, we have our analysis solution. And under that, we have the tool that we're using. If you recall, we have two goals for this experiment. The first is to show that we have captured neutrophils. The second is to show that we have preserved the biological state of the neutrophils. For this, I'll note here that neutrophils go through a maturation process in the peripheral blood. So if we have preserved the biological state, we should see neutrophils at multiple stages of maturation. To show this, we're going to use a community-developed tool for identifying and visualizing cells along a developmental or maturation path. Now, that's the end of our introduction. Uh, the next video will get you started with our 10X Genomics Cloud Analysis Platform.